welcome to the first ever Camp Peaches Happy Hour, in which we finally get to have a drink together. We're going to teach you guys how to make a classic tiki ingredient, and then how to use it in a simple cocktail at home. My executive associate producer and cameraman, Alex, will be taking over at the end to show you how to make that cocktail, because I'm kind of a dingus, and I don't really, I, I don't remember how to make cocktails, but fortunately, he's got it covered. Today, we're making orja! First thing you should know about orja, yes, that is how you pronounce it. Like, ja ja, like it's in ja ja gabor. Ja ja ja, ja ja orja. Second thing you should know about orja is what the heck is it? It's essentially a nut simple syrup that has a little bit of orange blossom water in it. Uh, it's an essential tiki ingredient and you'll find it in a lot of different cocktails and it's a lot more versatile than you might expect. It's usually made from blanched almonds, but today we're gonna show you how to make it from pecans. You want to make the classic version, do exactly this, this recipe exactly the same way. Just use blanched almonds instead of pecans. Sidebar, yeah, the almonds do actually really need to be blanched for this recipe. Have I made it without blanched almonds? Absolutely, because I'm a scoundrel and a cheat. But almond skins contain a really high amount of tannins and that does translate into the syrup. Blanching almonds uh, isn't too hard. You can usually find blanched almonds in the grocery store. But if you can't, um, I actually have full instructions on how to blanch almonds in the on the canned peaches site because it comes up. It does take a minute to do, but it's not hard. And I actually I think I find it kind of fun because you have to like snap them out of their jackets. You could probably trick a small child into helping you and it'll be done pretty fast. Pecans, however, don't have this problem because their skins don't contain the same amount of tannins. So with the pecan orgeau we're making today, we don't have to blanch anything. We can just start right away. Third thing you should know about making orgeau is why should you bother making it at home? Alex and I have found that all the store-bought orgia, which obviously we call storgia, it kind of sucks. Uh, it either tastes like crap, and then the stuff that uh, tastes kind of okay is just really expensive. It's a lot more expensive than going out and buying a pound of nuts, which is really the, the cost of making it at home. Uh, it's really not hard to make at home either. It, the only special equipment you're gonna need is cheesecloth and a food processor, and you can even skip the food processor if you don't have one. It does take a few hours to make orgia, but it's a really hands-off process, so you can do it while you're reading a book, or you're watching a movie, or maybe you're playing catch with that small child that you tricked into helping you blanch almonds earlier. It's the kind of thing that you do something with, and then you leave, and then you come back to, and then magically it's done. Enough chit-chat. Let the canned peaches happy hour begin! When the orange has cooled down, add one and a half tablespoons of orange blossom water, 90 milliliters of brandy or vodka, this is brandy, it's about one third of a cup, give it a stir, and you're done! That's it, you made orja. Now time for the good part, there's the orja, awaiting its fate. Here's all the other stuff we're gonna use. And now, welcome bartender Alex. Hello. All right, what you gonna make today, Alex? Um, I'm gonna show you how to use this delicious pecan orgia Boom. to make a Mai Tai. Ooh, and a Mai Tai normally isn't made with pecan orgia? No, a Mai Tai is usually made out of almond orgia. Mm. Um, 
and it's one of the best cocktails you can use to show off uh, your special rums, your best, your best tasting rums. But in this case, we want to highlight the flavor of the pecan orgia. Ooh. So we picked out some lighter flavored rums for you. Ooh. Like Appleton Estate and the Goslings. Yes, a Appleton Estate is a aged Jamaican rum, and you can really make this with any aged rum, uh, but I like Appleton a great deal. Um, Goslings is your classic dark rum, uh, but you could also use Kraken or Cruzan or really any other brand. Cool. Um, then of course we'll use a what the heck is this? triple yeah. sec. Um, you need an orange liqueur for this. Uh, you can use Cointreau, you can use Grand Marnier, you can use any old brand of triple sec. It's fine. Uh, this was the least expensive one at the store. Da -da -da -da! Okay, cool. All right, let's build this pecan Mai Tai. Monsters. Bye-bye. This is good content. <laughs> <laughs>